The following story is fan-made and not to be considered part of the Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire canon. It is a particularly dark and dreary night as King Bran the Broken sits alone within the Great Hall. But he is not truly there, for he is elsewhere searching, when suddenly a voice appears from out the shadows. Your Grace? It was Sir Podrick Payne of the King's Guard. Bran suddenly snaps out of his trance. It has been several months, yet I still cannot find her. I'm sure she will appear soon, Your Grace. I hope so, for a terrible storm is coming. I can feel it. It has been two years since the end of the Great War and the fall of the Mad Queen Daenerys, and the situation within the Six Kingdoms is starting to return to some sort of normality. Repairs on the capital city of King's Landing have largely concluded, and the terrible plague known as the Sleep and Sickness has been largely contained, due in large parts to the efforts made by Archmaester Samuel Tarly. And most importantly, the people of King's Landing are finally starting to feel safe. Now there has been some changes to the small capital. Council, however, Tyrion Lannister, Head of House Lannister, Lord of Casterly Rock and Warden of the West, still sits as Hand of the King. Sir Davos, Lady Brienne and Samuel Tarly still sit on the small council as well. However, Lord Bronn, Head of House Blackwater and Lord Paramount of the Reach, has been removed as Master of Coin due to his rather poor management of the economy by prioritising <coughs> certain projects over others. However, he doesn't really mind as he is quite content to be Lord of the Reach reach still. He has been replaced by Sir Leighton Hightower, who has finally ventured down from the Hightower to become Master of Coin, mostly because of his hatred towards House Blackwater. Another new addition is the Master of War, Lord Royce, who was awarded this position due to his heroic actions and stout leadership during the Dothraki Rebellion. As of yet, there is no Master of Whispers, but perhaps King Bran has a plan. Speaking of which, the Dothraki have been given valuable farming land within the Crown lands, where they remain mostly content, but this is mainly due to the fact that they fear King Bran the Broken, rather than them being loyal to Westeros as they still despise the Westerosi. The remaining Dothraki have been charged with protecting the King's Road against bandits, a job which they are particularly good at. Far to the north stands the independent kingdom of the North. Ruled over by Queen Sansa Stark, this kingdom has known two years of peace, rebuilding and finally prosperity. To the west, however, However, stands the Iron Islands, where there are rumblings of independence once more, as Queen Yara Greyjoy has no love for the crippled king, as she finally plans to fulfil her dream of putting the Iron Islands on the map. So Westeros is largely at peace, but across the narrow sea it is a different story. This was the first of what I'm hoping is going to be a new series for the channel. This particular story arc is going to be known as King of Thrones, and effectively what it is is a continuation of the Game of Thrones storyline, as Game of Thrones has definitely diverged from the A Song of Ice and Fire storyline. I'm hoping to turn this into a sort of community driven story and I hope to get the whole community involved in this, but if you think this is a good idea and you'd like to see more, please let me know.